Thank you. I didn't know where, whether ethics rules were going to allow me to actually come up to the podium, so thank you for that. Tom, I want to make a comment here. I like to start every morning with a little reflection or something to kind of get me motivated, but your words this morning and talking about cultural infrastructure, this is good, ladies and gentlemen. This is good. There's a lot of discussion going on in Congress right now about infrastructure. That's all the buzz. Once you get beyond ACA and tax reform, it's infrastructure. Infrastructure is going to be what's going to save us all. But when we talk about infrastructure, and I'm leaving in a few moments to go chair a hearing on energy infrastructure, and we think about it in a, in a framework that is pretty concrete. But there is nothing, nothing that holds us together more as Americans, as human beings, that then what comes to us through the arts, through the humanities, through an appreciation of what it is that we as, as, as men and women on planet Earth can provide. So thank you for the really the key word of the day, which is cultural infrastructure. And as you go out and advocate here in the Senate, here in the House, really around our country. Use those, those words. I, I would commend them to you. I am honored to be uh, in front of you today and, and recognized for, for my commitment to, to the arts at all levels, whether it's standing here in, in this amazing space and in this room. And I think it's important to recognize this room is the Kennedy Caucus Room. It was back in 1963 at Amherst College that John F. Kennedy said, I look forward to an America which will not be afraid of grace and beauty. Isn't that something for us each to think about? That not only will we not be afraid of grace and beauty, but that we will embrace it, we will support it, we will celebrate it, because it does define who we are. And so as you, as you tell your stories, and I, I ask you to be the storytellers this morning as advocates. You're here in Congress, and we all want numbers. We all want to see how it all pencils out, the economic driver of the arts. And that's so important. But don't forget those stories. Don't forget to share the story of the veteran who's now part of the Healing Arts Program, where he can speak of the, of the, of the traumas, of the, of the mental, uh, just the mental enclosure that he faced, he or she faced, but how that can be unlocked through the arts, how he can find expression by way of the arts in front of him. Or the child who is dealing with his or her own level of, of, of stress and trauma brought about through childhood violence. But through art, it can be a healing mechanism. Don't forget, don't forget the stories as Rika has done in Alaska, coming out of Homer with a, a project that is focusing on the decolonization of, of our amazing place in Alaska. How we share our stories through art can be so powerful, so compelling. So thank you for what you do. Know that here on Capitol Hill, these are interesting times. We're living the Chinese proverb, may you live in interesting times, and uh, <laughs> some days we do it better than others. But I, I strive to, to remember, again, the, the grace and the beauty that comes with the arts, with the humanities. You are leading us in exceptional ways, and we're forever grateful for that. So thank you for the recognition and the support this morning. Thanks.